So this is the part of the show where Tom brings three people into his boardroom who are under pressure after a tough week. He then fires one of them. Who's in the boardroom this week, Tom? Well, the first one's got to be the security guard on the building here, yeah? Because every week I come here, he don't let me in. He just don't know who I am. I go, mate, I come here last week. He just looks at me and thinks I must be robbing the gaff or something. He just goes, have you got a bath? Then decides to come out and get me in because I'm never allowed in the building. So he's definitely in the ballroom. Right? Even the like, mate, I've just, I actually went in this morning. I went on the Jeremy Carl show earlier. Yeah. And then I come, not the, it's, the, it's a new one now, yeah? yeah? And, and, I've, and I've come out. Got my kid, he stopped me again. I went, mate, are you winding me up? So he's, <laughs> he, yeah, he's, he's in the ballroom this week. Um, the second person, obviously, I went to West Ham Newcastle on Sunday. We was one great one, game. Great eh? game. One nil up. Suchek scored a blinder within like eight minutes or something. Yeah. yeah. Took my little boy up there. It was brilliant atmosphere. The ref, Peter Banks, he gave a naughty free kick to Newcastle when it was when it should have been our free yeah. kick, yeah. And, and they went one all and, and it ruined the game, really. You know, great game. We, we come back strong, but He's definitely in the ballroom because that was just an absolute liberty. Anyone watching that game would have seen it as well. And third person I'm going to bring in, you know, all the talking about this um, celebrity boxing, you've got the KSA iPhone. Oh, yeah, who are you, yeah. you calling out? Who are you calling I'm going to call out someone from TalkSport. Wow. Oh, I'm Marshall. nervous. I'm nervous. I would Not just me. love to punch Jamie O'Hara. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I just he's just got one in faces, isn't he? Like, punchable face. Yeah, yeah, just a punchable face. <laughs> oh. Do you think it would be Willie Bottler, Jamie? He, he was going to do a celebrity boxing fight before, wasn't he? But he got cancelled. Couldn't sell the tickets. I remember. He couldn't the sell tickets. Well, couldn't I'll sell be, the tickets. I'll be able to sell the tickets. Yeah, you sell them. No you problem. Let's, I call, think you'd have him. Should we should we, should we call it on? Yeah, yeah cool, absolutely. I'd, I'd watch that one. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Pretty good. She's got, I'd rather watch that than Saturday in the Manchester <laughs> Arena. <laughs> I think a lot of people would see that. Let's do it. Yeah, you're feeling Jamie. Yeah. Now it's time to head over the streets of East London to hear some tales from the market. The Laughing Monkeys. The Laughing Monkeys? The Laughing Monkeys. Have I told you this story no, before? No. The Laughing Monkeys. So, when I was young and naive, I thought I could sell absolutely everything. Now, this was before Christmas, okay? It was about end of October, start of November. I was about 18. These stories in my book as well, right? Now, a guy has pulled up to me. Uh, he said, look, he said, I've got I've got a massive clearance of Hamley's toys. I went, Hamley's? Fantastic. I'm interested. What yeah. are they? He said, they're, they're these little laughing monkeys. He said, there'll be a winner in the Christmas. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> All right, go on. And how much are they? He said, well, they retail for 30 quid, Tom, and you can have them for two and a half quid. I think they oh, were. Oh. I thought, lovely. But there was 3,000 of them, yeah? So I thought, oh, well, I got all my money. I thought, it's Christmas coming up. Laughing monkeys. Kids are going to love them. We're going to sell the lot. So I've, I've got the money again, borrowed a bit of money, bought all these laughing monkeys, and I've gone out with my mate Big Lanks, who's gone, Tom, do not buy them laughing monkeys. I said, guess what we're selling on Saturday? He said, what? I said, laughing monkeys. Well, I've put them all on my store, and as I'm putting them, they have these little pins out the back where they pull out the little tab and it t- turns the battery on. I then realised why Hamleys didn't want them in their shops. They sounded like demonic monkeys. They weren't oh. laughing. They were like, Rah! They were scaring kids, yeah? They were scaring kids. At the end of the day on a Saturday, right, I didn't. I sold like, none, right? People going, oh, no. the noise was, I had to put the ones, I pulled the tags out back in the van because well, the noise was so bad. Just leave the, leave the pins well, in. Obviously, don't yeah, obviously, yeah. But people didn't want them because they looked like devil little monkeys. They were scary. <laughs> so what happened was, I couldn't sell them into Christmas. I've done a few. About six months later, in, in the summer of the next year, I had to give them away to a charity shop because they were taking up loads of room. Oh, no. So I had an so you absolute, bought all of them as well? I had an absolute mess. So oh. they just proves and put in, not everything you buy, can, you can sell. What about the guy who sold you them? I bet he was buzzing, were I, I bet he'd offer them to absolutely everyone. <laughs> well, he, and he'd he, come he, down to me and thought, <laughs> I know what numpty you buy these. Yeah, he'd a proper laugh. Yeah. He is. <laughs> <laughs> so what time tonight then? What time do they get there? Right. Well, look, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go now. Right. But I've got a couple of bits of work to well, do. Are we doing the debrief? Well, if I'm allowed, I think I've got to do an interview or something with the newspapers downstairs. But no, 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 no. Debrief, debrief. No, debrief. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll love the debrief. Third <laughs> is my favourite working day. Yeah, this we'll, is... we'll hang on for you. Yeah, let's do it. Right. My really? train's booked. Well, Done. Right. You, no, you're, you're not, not going to come in anywhere. <laughs> come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll nick his case, don't worry. He's not going anywhere. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.